hello guys welcome to inspired to diy in today's video i'd like to share how i was able to repurpose an old clock into something really nice and beautiful stay tuned for the end result and let's get into it and to get us started i went and took apart the clock i also removed the hand and i will be using this silver contact paper as i trace it to size for the inner of the clock Forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're here for the first time go ahead subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next diys sure that the contact paper sits well inside of the circle and I'll also use my exacto knife to remove any excess on the side. And to make it more appealing, I'm using this gold place mat that I got from Walmart for only $1.94 and I'll go ahead and cut the middle so it can sit perfectly into the circle. I trace and cut the place mat to size and I'll be gluing it in the middle of the circle. of white paint, black paint, some mod patch and two different kind of glitters so I can paint the outer of the circle. paper straws that I'll be gluing to the bottom of the clock. I'll go ahead and use my Sharpie to create a chevron like that I will cut. And I'll go ahead and paint it with the mixture from before and also add additional glitter.
Like mentioned before, I'm using the mixture of pen and I'll be painting the end of the struts and add additional glitter. As I continue to make this clock more beautiful, I'm using some acrylic gems and I'll be gluing them all around the outer circle. what it looks like so far i'll go ahead and add the hour hand the minute and the second hand before i go ahead and add some numbers i'll be creating some woman numbers as i use this mirror reflective paper and i'm using my ruler to trace down the pieces that i'll need and it will be one inch wide to six inch long This mirror reflective paper is so easy to cut through but I'll ever be careful because if you go ahead and do it too hard it will crack. I simply take my small pieces, glue some together to make the different numbers that I'll need and what I'll do, I'll go ahead and do a 3, a 6, a 9, and a 12. I already have an adhesive at the back but I'll go ahead and add additional glue to the back so it can stay longer. This is the final piece you guys and it turned out so glam and beautiful i hope you guys do agree with that if so go ahead give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and see you guys next time bye thank you for watching